Hey, it's Bilbo Dirk here. I have got some requests about how to download or create a Counter Strike source server, so I'm gonna show that in this video. Start open a internet browser and go to Google and search for Steam CMD. Take the first link, and because I'm only showing how to do this on Windows, you are of course really need to click Windows the zip file. So now it's downloading the Steam CMD. I'm just going to my location where I want my server and I will create a folder called source one. In this folder I'm gonna make a new folder called Steam CMD. And in the Steam CMD I'm gonna drag my Steam CMD program into that folder. So now I'm gonna double click the Steam CMD and make it download. Just so I'm just gonna wait some so now it's done so we'll start to log in anonymously to the steam publics as also written Then I will just go one folder back because I want my server to be installed in here and not in my Steam CMD folder. So I'm gonna write the force install here, and then I need my path to where I need to install my Counter Strike Saucer. So I'm gonna copy here, and I'll go to edit and paste in, and I'm gonna hit enter. And now we need to get the Steam CMD to download the server to where I just written where I want to install. So I'm gonna write app update and then the ID for Counter Strike Source server. So I will scroll down here and I find Counter Strike Source dedicated server and the ID right here. So it's two three two three three zero and I'm gonna hit enter. So now you can see it already made the cache folder for the Counter Strike Source server. Um, and it's already begin began to download. Uh, while it's downloading here, I will suggest you to make a new tab. Just go for Google again and write C Var Maker, and then take the first link. And I'll just make my standard settings. Uh, DK and FFA Windows Knee Server by Build Project. Arc password 1324 and flashlight on as we talk on and the freeze time is enormous so I will reduce that to 2 seconds and I will go down here and I will say the region Europe and this is just my own right, my own gmail I'm gonna hit the run shift gmaker I'm gonna copy this and I'll hit for my desktop and make a new text document call it server dot cfg yes and in here I will paste all my uh, settings for my Counter Strike source server so save that and save it somewhere you can remember where it is if you don't have the ending tag here you can go for your control panel and just just edit in the folder settings right here in the view and here it's this uh, hidden file uh, hide file type for known file types and you can see it will remove the tag here so on your computer it will already be checked so uncheck the hide file type uh, names for known file types so click OK now you've got all there the final text so now we're pretty much done for the first uh, part of the video so I'm gonna end this tutorial here and I will return with the part 2 uh, with how to how to do the rest how to set in the server the GFG and 
I already have a video that is not outdated of how to uh, download the metamod, source mod, and event scripts for your server. So I'm gonna end this video here. So I will see you here. Hello, it's Billboardark here again, and uh, I've decided to make the part two in the same video because the earlier video did not take so long as I have expected. But y as you can see now, the download is done and fully installed. So just close this and open the the, the folder where we have your contract saucer, and you can see the associates.exe uh, program is here. So make a shortcut of that and just call it, you can name it uh, Launcher. And right click it and click Properties. And start up your internet browser again and head for srcds.com and click the Windows Server and the command should stand right here. Copy them and go to your properties and make one space and paste them. Now you can change the map for your Counter Strike Source server. If you have uh, like oh, it was nine, uh, you can write that, but the map doesn't exist on the server uh, right now. So I'll just name it Dirst. And you can change the max players. I will just set mine to 24. And I'll click OK. So you can start your server now, but it will say the server.gfg file uh, doesn't exist. So uh, we need to take the server.gfg and uh, we will clip it and we'll go to C strike and CFG and we will paste it in here. And later on, you will need to use the what is called the uh, auto exe so i'm going to paste the skill one because you know there's not much um text in there and i will call it auto exe and i'm going to right click it and edit it and delete everything and i'll just save it as nothing because this you're going to need that if you want to have add-ons or event scripts on your server uh, just leave it like this and you have a server cfg here and you can return to the SRC data launcher and you can start your server. And here it's very important that you check this and a low access because if you do not check that um it will not go online. And first time you run your contract saucer it will look like this with a lot of errors and uh, if you just try to close it and relaunch it, it will load everything as normally. You see. Uh yes. And you can write status and you'll got your information and your contract source is now successfully uh installed. And if you need to get your server online you'll need to port forward your contract source server. Um and many people have been asked me for about this server here is uh, getting access to the Steam libraries and I can say yes to that by telling you it's standing right here. Installation Steam libraries for secure internet servers. So this server it uh, has access to the Steam libraries so people can see you in Counter Strike Source who have paid for their Counter Strike Source uh, game over Steam. So yes, it have access to Steam. So you can go ahead and close your server. And then I have a little extra uh, gift for you guys. I have coded a batch file that will do your contract source server will automatically restart if your contract source server crashes. So if you're gonna take your path up here, p uh, copy that, and I have made a little section called path right here. Only mark that and not the spaces like that. So only copy that. Uh, mark that and paste in and then you need to write slash and srcds.exe for the program there there and 
then you can paste your, your server name here as uh, I'll just call it build the dark uh, server and I will just do the same here build the dark server and just close it and save it and now you can see uh, a thing that's very important for this uh, batch file is your settings in here now uh, the max players and the map it uh, will start up in it's in the batch file now so you're not using the shortcut here this is just the easy way but this batch file will make your construct saucer restart if it crash so save it and try launch your guard and you can see this batch uh, file is open here and your construct server is open here and if I just try to close down my construct saucer and say oh my construct saucer crashed and it will relaunch immediately and in the batch file you can see buildbuddock server was launched and when I just close my server it will say buildbuddock okay buildbuddock server has closed or crashed restarting buildbuddock server was launched and I can do that as many times as I want and it will just read every time it do if you need to close your server you will need to close the batch file first and then close your server and your server has successfully closed it is just a batch file I will leave a download link in the description for downloading this guard.batch file so this was the tutorial on how to install Counter-Strike source server and yeah that was pretty much it, it. Um, I will see you maybe in another video, so, yeah.